we can now store their IP address. So the fact that we can store an IP address as well as have an email, we need to actually implement a reference ID, some type of reference ID, just like what we see in Swift for entrepreneurs.com. We see this ID right here that is unique to that one email. So we actually need to create that. And I'm first going to show you in the Python shell. So what we're going to do is uh, close out of our, our server here and go to Python manage.py shell. So the Python shell, you can run a lot of Django commands in here and work with it uh, to actually get in the Python shell. You have to do uh, Python manage.py shell because uh, if you don't do that, it's not going to actually import a lot of the Django stuff or any of the Django stuff for that matter, especially when it refers to our project. All right, so there's this I there's a Python function called UUID. So import UUID. And if we do UUID.UUID4, we get a random string of like an ID. So this is something that we can use for all types of things. Uh, so if you ever wanted to make some type of like confirm your email, you could use UUID and it will create a nice long unique string for you uh, that will be specific to that user. So let's let's see this a little bit. So string equals to I'll just say uh, user ID equals to UUID dot UUID for and now if I do user ID, I see that we've got the string here. Um, and if I wanted to maybe just get, I don't know, 10 or 20 of the digits, I could just do up to 10. Oops, I actually have to turn it into a string first. So string of user ID. That way we can actually see the string itself. Uh, so string user ID. And then I get the first 10 objects. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, so we get everything up to 10. So 0 to 9 basically is what that's actually doing. So position 0 to 9. Um, we probably don't want to have little dashes in ours. We would probably want to replace dashes themselves. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's actually going to be 9 digits long instead of 10. So if we wanted to make it 10 digits long, we would probably be better off doing 11 and then replacing the dash with an empty string. And then that way we now have this. And that could be specific to the user ID and we could do uh, upper, so capitalize everything if you want to make it nice and bold and known. Uh, this would be a good idea maybe for if you had uh, a shopping cart and you wanted to do this. There's a few ways that you could make random generated uh, IDs, but this is kind of how we're going to do it. I'm actually going to keep it all lower and make sure that it's all lowercase. So now that I have this, um, I can actually, or this string right here, I can actually use this and assign it to a user when we create a user. Um, so to do that, we would first off have to change our models again and go into models.py and we'll change it to ref ID, so reference ID, not the Django instance ID, because there still is an ID here. So I'll show you what that means in just a second. So we're gonna add reference ID models.charfield max length equals to 120. And again, I'll put the default equals to ABC. Uh, and just like what we did with uh, IP address, we have to have a default. Uh, when we're doing the schema migration here. And the reason I'm using ABC, you could just use default value. You could say literally default value, uh, but I'm just keeping it as ABC so I know for sure that it's uh, something that I set as a default. You could use something else uh, if you want, but I'm just gonna use ABC. All right, so now that we have that, let's run the schema migration. So I can, I'm actually gonna copy this right here so I can reference it later. And I'll put it in my view right above home. And then import UUID, because we will use that in just a little bit. So I'm gonna exit this out, or exit out of the Python shell and do Python manage.py schema migration joins auto. Now again, we're doing schema migration because we made a change to the model 
and then we have to run schema migration and then python manage.py migrate joins. All right, so that runs the migration. Everything looks good. So now we can do python manage.py run server. And so now that we have this, let's actually create a function uh, that's going to get us a new reference ID. All right, so I'm gonna uncomment out import UUID, and then I'm gonna find a function, so get ref ID. And then all we're gonna do now is return this whole thing. Well, actually, I'll just call this ref ID equals to that, and we'll return that. So that's gonna return back that string, but in this case, oh, we don't want user ID because that doesn't make sense, right? We want um, user UUID dot UUID four and parentheses, right? So that will actually create the random one for us. This turns it into a string. This gets the first or first uh, 11 or first 10 spots, excuse me. So this will actually return 11 numbers itself. Uh, and then it's gonna replace any dashes to nothing. And then we're gonna have them all lowercase and it's gonna return that. All right, so just like if created in the IP address, we are gonna do the same thing with reference ID. So get reference ID, we'll put that down and we'll do new join old dot ref ID equals to get ref ID. And if we look into our models, let's make sure it's called ref ID and it is. Uh, just I just like to double check those things that way I don't make any real significant errors at any point All right, so now what it's doing is when it creates it It's going to get a reference ID and actually make that happen uh, So it will create the reference ID based off of it being created as an object as well uh, There are other ways to do these two parts right here. So like create something after an object was created uh, but I'm just going to do it in our views for now because we don't really need to get into too much advanced stuff at this point. It's more about just getting this done so we can actually launch and get it out there. All right, so now that we have this, um, let's go ahead and test it out. Let's run the server first to make sure it's running. It is running on my end. And I'm gonna go into my admin. I'm actually gonna delete my joins, all of them, just so I can make sure that this stuff's working. I'll hit add join just to see. I have ref ID and IP address, that's perfect. That's what I wanna see. Um, and okay, so now I'll actually add in a new email. So coding for entrepreneurs at Gmail, hit join. Cool, so nothing seemed to have happened. So let's actually go into the admin, go to joins, and there we go, we've got that new email. And I got a new reference ID. So this is gonna be unique to this email now. And we can make it for sure unique if we add a clause in our models. We can do class meta, and we can go unique together equals to, we can put a list or a tuple, and that's gonna be email ref ID. All right, and we can run schema migration again. So python manage.py schema migration joins auto, python manage.py migrate joins. Notice it says add unique join email ref ID. So it's adding a unique clause in the join model and email and ref ID. So it's making sure that those are unique together. Okay, so now that we have that, we can run the server again. All right, so now let's actually talk about something. In this saving, when we actually create this ID, well, we want it to be unique, but there is a chance, maybe a small chance, but there is a chance that this could bring us back one that already exists. There is a chance that that could happen, right? So getting a reference ID that already exists, well, that would be a problem. We don't want that to happen. We actually want it to not give us an ID um, back. We want it, or the same ID that's already existing. So what we'll do is we're gonna go try. And well, first off, I will set the reference ID here and I will go, um, so the ID exists equals to join.objects.get ref ID equals to ref ID. 
right? So this is saying that it exists. So if it exists, we'll have to do something. And in this case, it will just, if it doesn't exist, so any other possibility, it would just return that initial reference ID. So in the case it does exist, then all we're gonna do is, we wanna actually run this all over again. So we'll just run that again. And what it should do is actually loop through and get the reference ID um, eventually. Like, I mean, eventually it's just gonna keep looping until it gets an ID that just does not exist. Now the likelihood is it won't exist because I mean, unless you have millions of people that sign up, if that's the case, then you would want to change this, the reference itself, to be a lot longer. Uh, and maybe maybe not even have uh, any limit to it, but just replace these dashes. Or even use the dashes. So that's where you kind of would want to make make the judgment call on your end uh, when uh, what you want to do here. Now, also, if you start seeing that there's some errors here on your code, all you need to do is jump in here and just remove a few things here and there and then automatically your reference IDs are new and they're refreshed. Uh, so we're gonna go with this though. Um, and that will loop through everything and we can actually test this out. So let's go ahead and open up our shell again. So python manage.py shell. And I'm going to import UUID. I'm also gonna import join. So import or from joins.models import join. So now I can see all the model, the stuff, the same com commands, objects.all. So I can see all the objects. I can do everything in the shell that I can do in my views. And that's, a, this is a shell, so a way to test it. All right, so um, I imported UUID, so I can copy this ref ID. And let's get a ref ID. Oops, not just ref ID, but get ref ID. All right, there's one, there's another one, there's another one, great. So let's actually set the reference ID uh, to being the one that we already have, right? So I'm gonna just set it and then I'm not gonna run this again. I'll just say print run getting the ID all over again. So that's all I'm gonna do. So basically, so I'll set this at, the, So I will comment this out and I'll set the ref ID equals to the one that was the only join object that we have. So join objects, scroll up a little bit, dot all, and I'll get the first position one and then I'll get the ref ID. So this is what we're gonna go off of. I'm gonna set it equal to that. It's a string, it's not actually a number. Uh, so now I'm going to copy this, paste it into the shell, and run get ref ID, and it says running the ID. So what it's showing here now is when we run it to where the ref ID is something that exists, it's showing getting the ref ID. If we ran the command, it would just go in a loop because the ref ID is exactly the same. Right, so like it'll just be a huge loop. It's always gonna be existing and it'll just run and run and run. Well, let's just show you that so you can not just hear it from me, but you can see it in action. So let's copy it, get ref ID. Just gonna keep, keep going, right? It's gonna go on forever until the memory dies or the computer dies, whatever. Um, so that's how we would do it. That's a pretty safe way to assume that this reference ID will be um, definitely unique. Now, there's another way to know that it's gonna be unique is the models we have um, unique together here. And actually, we probably wanna put a unique clause on here as well. Uh, so it's a unique reference ID to the instance uh, as well. So no other model can be saved even with a different, different uh, ID. Okay, so now that we've that, we just changed the model. So let's actually just make sure we do the schema migration. So I'm gonna do exit, python manage.py, schema 
migration joins auto python manage.py migrate. All right, so now that we have that, and our view is pretty much ready to roll, I'm gonna uncomment out this ref, or comment out that ref ID that I was using, and I'll print, get rid of that print statement because we don't need that. Okay, so now we have this reference ID, and it will place it, and it's not gonna, it, it will be unique, and it's also gonna check whether or not it already exists uh, while it's doing this. So basically, this part, if it already exists, it's gonna just keep going through until it's done, and then it'll come back and finish all this other stuff off, uh, which is nice too. So this, this will loop until it finds an ID that's unique, but chances are pretty good that this will find a unique one right off the bat. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we can test it one more time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run the server. Python manage.py run server. And in our joins, I'm just gonna delete it. And then go in here and coding for entrepreneurs at Gmail, hit join. All right, nothing happened. Go into the admin, joins. Okay, coding for entrepreneurs. Now we have our new reference ID. So let's just add a few of them, test at Gmail, ABC at Gmail. Don't know if those are real or not, but I would recommend not emailing them. Um, so ABC, cool, it's got its own reference ID, test has its own reference ID, perfect. So now we are really getting close to building this page. I mean, we have to actually add a lot of 